mid. It's only Justin up here to hold this off, and he might get caught. They don't push it aggressively, and now they're getting flanked from behind. They've got to be careful. Peter goes down to Strebber, but all these counter terrorists have switched spots. Anger takes one out. Some trades come in. It's a two for two, down to a three on three at the moment. Yeah, and a nice play there from Pyfe. He kind of bided his time there on balcony and then peeked out at the right time, was able to get back without uh, taking massive damage. He's going to find another one, maybe a third. Yes, he does. And Pyfe already stepping up in the pistol round. He's going to find three. Flop finishes it off. His main line goes down. And Luminosity take the first round. Impressive round there. Yeah, that, that actually looks scary. That push, uh, you know, didn't seem to give them the positional advantage they wanted for it. But, you know, they got out with a two-on-two -two trade and they fell back in a great positioning. And, and, and Pyth, it was just, you know, three kills that round. Those last two at Balcony, just instant headshots. So nicely done by him to get that really, really advantageous, you know, pit positioning. It was kind of funny because the first guy who came out on Balcony, it took him a couple of shots. Maybe he had to get a little readjusted to playing with low ping because he's been playing from overseas with 120-plus ping with these guys for the last week. So very aggressive push coming up. Banana Lex is going to draw first blood. He's going to be able to find a second one, and that's going to be a mow down here at the Banana Hallway. But both members are over here, and they're both low, but Lex is going to find the triple, or the quad, pardon me. He does manage oh to get Lord. the haze, so 8 HP, not a big deal. Luminosity cleaning it up. Anger, the only casualty. Yeah, Lex just holds it down there. A brick wall. Uh, support from his teammate grabs the ace, but look at his money. He's got 5,600 already. That SMG just doing work for him. He's going to drop it over. He's going to pick up a Colt. So he's ready to go into this round and a great start for him. And and even look at the nades on uh, Luminosity's side. You know, uh, Paradox actually bought armor that round, so there's really not too much of a risk of any kind of crazy powerful buy out of their side, but they still have full nades on the CT side, two Molotovs as well. And also not to mention the fact, yeah, like you said, Lex actually picked up a Molly off of somebody from the terrorist side. They didn't get a chance to throw it last round. And again, going to work at the banana, they're going to be able to find two. That's Anger and Lex opening things up. And there's the Molotov to come out. Anger's going to be able to sweep that one under the rug. And that's going to leave it just on Silent Nelly over here. And spamming through, almost able to find that headshot on the Pyth, but he is going to be able to go right back into Silent, takes him down, and we could see another five-man stand here for the CT side. I'm glad you... I'm glad you mentioned that he picked up a, a Molotov off the terrorist team there, because that's actually a, a crucial mistake on Paradox's part. You know, he survives that round of 8 HP, but, you know, to have that Molotov, that's that's exactly where you want to use it, is onto that sandbag to clear that player out. Now, I don't know if they were holding it to try and do some kind of a B-hit, but, uh, you know, once he's there, get that Molotov out of your hands, clear him out of the spot, help your teammates. In this round, we actually do see, do see someone drop, and uh, the remaining, the last member of the terrorist is just hanging back, giving himself some time to uh, to get his teammate back in the server. Now he's going to push up, and two players stacked over here towards the wood chips. He's not going to get anything done with a wood pile, and wood chips. he gets dropped. I yeah, like that. Wood chips. I was barbecuing <laughs> this weekend. I'm all up in the wood chips. <laughs> nice. All right, so we do see Luminosity opening up with a three-round lead. Coming into the first gun round, and Ellie is going to be on a limited buy here with only a Galil opted to go for the full nade set. So we'll see whether or not Paradox can get anything going in their favor as we move forward into this first gun round. And Peter is going to have the AWP still on CT spawn, so a little bit of a miss buy. I believe, but it's a late start. Look at this aggression over towards B. Lex, there's that Molotov, so they force him away from car, and Lex is just going to play behind the smoke. Got a smart play here. He's got time to wait for that Molotov to fade before he decides to retreat back out, and there's a flashbang around the corner from Anger to keep him honest, and Banana just a little while longer. So we'll see if they decide to drop another smoke out, because I think that smoke actually was Peter's smoke that he threw from CT. That's why he was late to get out of spawn. Actually dropped it all the way up, but Silent pushing up. Going to catch Lex off guard over there by Sandbags, and that's an opening pick here for the terrorist side of Paradox. So looking good to start this round off. Yeah, that's actually a disaster. Lux's or Anger's smoke went a little bit too far, so it gave it gave that opening peak to uh, to Silent there. So nice entry from him. But more importantly, Anger doesn't have a smoke anymore. Lex had the other one. He went down, so now they're forced to have two people here. Peter's going to even things up though, but still no smoke to block off this B choke point. They actually send Il Ellie, Ellie. I believe that's what their name is. Ellie up through mid to try to play that lurk role and see if they can get anything going, but they're going to go ahead and smoke off towards the B bomb site, and Anger is going to have it all to do here. Peter's going to be rotating around, but he's going to be smoked off here towards CT spawn, and they're going to go ahead and push in. Anger's only got the FAMAS, and Strebber pushes all the way through to CT, so Peter, he's going to get caught off guard. Flom gets caught by the lurk, and Anger goes down as well, so it's all on Python, a 1v4, and Ellie with a beautiful lurk up mid is going to be able to pick up and capitalize on two there. 22 HP left, but that's going to be all she wrote. Paradox with the first gun round in their favor.
Yeah, and that's just smart, patient play from Paradox there. Uh, smoking that off, getting one player through it, but not, not having to commit to that bombsite through the molly. It's because because they ran out of smokes in the CT side. Like I said, they didn't have anything to block that off, and there was so much time on the clock left to work with, so they could hold that angle, wait for someone to peek, give their teammates time to make a play. That's exactly what they did, picking off Peter in construction and opening the bombsite up. Right you are. We do see another buy coming out from the CT side of Luminosity. Just a pistol here for PDR. We're going to see whether or not he can do anything. What? Okay, that x-ray was kind of dodgy there for a second. I thought that smoke actually maybe bounced off the light fixture in the top of the apartment hallways, but does manage to land in the right spot. They're going to go ahead and drop some flashbangs up around the corner. Silent already pushing up, and Anger's there to bail his teammate out of dodge, and Lex is going to be able to pick one up. They're going to go ahead and push through the smoke, and they're going to get completely decimated up at the top side of Banana. So just like that, they kind of squandered that opening round that they got, and Luminosity getting right back in the driver's seat here. Yeah, coming through smoke especially, and on top of that, that's about the third round that Luminosity's done that exact setup uh, so far in, in, you know, in the first five rounds of this half, so they're going to have to use Molotovs if they want to take that. That's obviously preferred setup, and if when they see that smoke, they're going to have to use that fire to clear those positions out, or else it's just going to continue to be a mow down. But the interesting thing is, despite the, I mean, there is there is a advantageous positioning from Luminosity double pit, but it's a two on two here over at A at the moment. But Pyth is just going to take out Ellie so quickly down to a one on five, and really nothing left for Mainline to do. Yeah, probably just opt to go ahead and save his rifle here because Pyth is still in a. Well, I thought he was in a good position for that, but Flam is immediately there for the trade. The double pit does manage to pay off, and they're going to be able to salvage that AK for Pyth for another round and. We're going to have another full gun round here for the CT side. Should be an eco round here for the terrorist side. No bomb plan to put that extra cash in the bank. So we will be seeing them maybe pick up a couple of pistols here, four to one. No, it's going to be a full buy. So they're going to trust the MAC-10. They're going to trust the uh, the beefed-up SMG and the still still strong but not as strong Tech 9s. And uh, have a couple players left over with some money for the next round who, who kept things up. So they're going to try and keep the pressure on. It looks like they want to go for this B-Rush. They're going to throw out that Molly to stop it. But here come the nades. And this health is... Everyone's just getting annihilated. Strebber down to four. So, oh, Paradox is in a terrible position at the moment. Yeah, and already not starting off on a good foot here. And Lex is going to be right around the corner at the top side of Banana. He's going to be able to catch one out. Good flashbang around the corner. He's going to get a second one. Looking for a third. He's not going to be able to line that one up. They do manage to finally take him down. But Anger's going to go ahead and cordon off that area with the smoke at the top side of Banana. So a four on three. Not a bad situation here. They've lost their low HP players. Silent still at 35, but the rest of them are still sitting relatively pretty. They can maybe, oh, they do manage to salvage that MAC-10 as well on the back of Silent. So they might be able to get something going here as they wait for that smoke to dissipate over at Banana. And it looks like they are going to maybe try to go for a take here. And look at that. They throw the smoke at the front side of the bomb site, maybe trying to get in there and ninja plant. But Peter's going to try to say, no, not in my house. He's going to be able to find the first one that's silent down and out. He's got Ellie around the corner, and Anger's going to spray him down. Takes down both of them. And Luminosity, another four-man stand. So that money on their side is definitely getting in their favor now. Oh, yeah, it's huge. And now we're going to see that eco round. So, uh, you know, a near flawless round with only one death. And now they're going to have at least one more round to, you know, build things up against these pistols. So if they don't take a lot of damage this round, it's just going to be huge. But, you know, you got to say this defense over at B has locked uh, locked Paradox down so often. They've had a heavy lean over towards this banana side of the map uh, or these past few gun rounds. And nothing's really come from it. So they've got to try and find some success today because, you know, at this point they have to switch over to the other bomb. So they can't just keep butting heads against this B defense that's just been mowing them down. Oh, and Pyth, that nade! Goodness gracious, silent. 89 damage off of that grenade. Ooh, and almost gets him through the spam as well. Still looking for it through there. Silent going to find a little bit of a gap in that one-way smoke, but Pyth is going to capitalize on that, finds the frag anyway. He's got one more up in the hallways to contend with. That's going to be Ellie. He's going to go ahead and push out, and Pyth, nice headshot from him, and that's down to three now. <laughs> He baited that peak. That was supposed to. That, that looked like a pop flash to Ellie. So Ellie just came out swinging, expecting him, expecting Pythe to swing out with it, and Pythe just outplayed him there. And again, you can see LG just off and rolling. Seventh round now, five to one. So again, we see no AWP in the hands of Peter. He did have the money in pocket to buy it and opted to go for the M4. And look at this angle that Anger is playing right now. He's going to be able to find one. That's all he's going to get now. Lex over here by Sandbags. The same setup that's been working for them so many rounds in a row continues to pay off for Luminosity as they pick up their sixth round. Right, and Paradox has got to find some way to punish that setup. They've got to find some way to do it. Now that we see like a Molotov in Justin's hands and Strebber's hands, and if they use that over towards B, they need to wait these smokes out, and if they want to hit B, they can't execute through a smoke. They need to push that stack back and then go from there, give themselves some map control to work with, 
But, I mean, you're exactly right. Anger and Anger and Lux over there have just been a couple of rocks shutting things down. And five Molotovs on the side of the counter terrace as well. So that economy is just in full force. Yeah, and again, taking a look at the scoreboard, you can see how strong their hold's been at the B-bomb site. You can see Lex at 13-3 and three and Anger at 7-3, and three, but he's got seven assists to his name. Yeah, and the A defenders have just got to feel so comfortable on this map at the moment because every single round Paradox has put three players over towards Banana. And once again, it's the same exact setup one more time, so we'll see if they came up with a plan to break this. And really what they need to do is drop those Molotovs. They do have a couple of them on the terrorist side. If they drop them over on top of Lex at Sandbags, they might be able to get an opening into this bomb site. So you can see another flashbang coming around the corner. They're going to pop flash up. There's a Molotov around the corner. Finally going to flush Lex out. He pushes up in front. Silence going to find Anger. Lex peaks. Does manage to take down one, but Justin, they're opening things up. They drop the smoke on the Molotov to extinguish it, and Ellie is once again going to be lurking over here, but Peter on the rotation does manage to find one. Down to a three versus three. Pyth, he's pushing on through. He's going to be able to find Ellie. Lines up the spray, takes him down, so now we're down to a two versus three. They have yet to get this bomb planted in this B bomb site. They are going to go for it now. And Peter over here by Construction is trying to hold things down. He's joined by Flom as well. And Pyth a little late to the party, but he's going to get there eventually. Spraying through the smoke. Almost lined it up, main line. Oh, that Molotov gets extinguished. That's actually huge. So now it's going to be an easier retake for Luminosity as they come streaming in. Mainline's going to grab Pyth. But Peter, Flom's actually in the uh, in the foul, and he didn't check his corner, but he does swing around and get the frag, but it's all down to Mainline versus Peter in a one-on-one. -on -one. And Paradox absolutely needs this round. Mainline trying to play the time, but Peter's going to find him. Charge over to the defuse, and I don't think he's got it, to be honest. I think he does. Oh, yep. my. Well, you know, that's why you played an ESCA one. invite, and I'll I did not. <laughs> Stick but to matchmaking, I mean, Mega Man. The plant, the plant was, you know, uh, uh, I mean, obviously they, they win it there, but just getting that plant was perfect. And they actually, that that stack that they cleared out at cars and at sandbags was, was uh, you know, the fact that they were pushed out that far when they got cleared out, it gave Peter a chance to rotate. So even though they lost that stack in a, in a one for two trade um, and gave up the bomb site, it gave Peter time to rotate over because they, they, they didn't die inside the bomb site. They died pushed out towards Banana. So Peter had some time to get that kill on the equalizer. So almost able to bring it back, but a good win there for Paradox. Absolutely. If he would have been able to find mainline a fraction of a hair earlier, he would have been able to get that defuse. Just within inches of it, and here's the peek out, and there's some good opening damage being dealt here, but Paradox, the worst for the wear right now, is Justin's already down to 26 points of health, and if you look at the scoreboard real fast, look at how even the scores are for the uh, terrorist side right now. Only one extra death for Silent, the rest of them all sitting at 3 and 7. Yeah, and this is something Paradox is going to have to improve on as the season goes on. They haven't gone anywhere but Banana. I've said it a couple times, but no map control towards A, no pressure put on that bomb site yet. It doesn't look like they're going to lean back towards it right now, but it's so late on in the round, and actually, it might turn out to be a good thing for him. You can see that Flom is so used to them hitting B, he's kind of cheated over in a CT spawn. He's in a position that could get smoked out very, very easily. Absolutely, and again, Ellie's going to be up here behind the smoke in apartments, trying to find something. They got the double pit play again. Peter with the AWP looking over towards the boiler room. Let's see if he can find anything here. Is they're going to go ahead and lob some smokes and some flashes up over the top, and Silent's going to go ahead and throw the truck smoke. Actually, pardon me, that's going to... Oh, I'm stuck on a nade. I forgot. This is online, not on land. Oh, okay, we're stuck in a smoke, Don't but it worry. does look like they're going to wrap around towards CT spawn. Actually, they're going to make the moto play. Oh, man. Following okay, in through X-Ray. They're, they're still two in pit right now, and it has to get cleared out. Ellie's going to, like, he got dinked up by this battle to Python. It's all going to be at the main line. He's jumping over the fence, but he gets dropped from behind by Anger. And this pit defense is still holding strong, and that's just absolutely massive. So great play by those two players in pit. Stay alive, and the clock's just going to run out. Shrebber, nothing to do but just hang out and spawn, so... A good defense there by Luminosity. And again, you know, Mainline, he put himself into a position to be successful. He got stuck up there by the graveyard a little bit, and Anger was able to finally come around from Moto's side to bail his teammates out in pit, but he might have been able to hit that double and maybe open up that bomb site. Streber coming around from CT spawn through library could have easily flanked out Anger there, but unfortunately time not on their side as they try to make their way in towards that A bomb site. So we're going to see another little bit of an eco round here. Streber was able to salvage that Galil from the last round, and we're going to see if he can put it to use this round. But there it is, Peter with a beautiful opening shot through the window. In the balcony uh, room, pardon me, and he is going to be able to open things up here. So, anger through the smoke. What? Okay. Yeah, nice spray down from him, and it just cleans things up. So, really nothing left to do here. Fight's going to clean Silent up in middle. All down to the bomb carrier. So, once again, they actually did a triple push down B. You know, feel like that they shut down the A attack so effectively that Paradox was going to just shift back over towards B. And like you said, anger spraying him down. So... 
Now Paradox is in a really tough spot. And it's just interesting, they have this, uh, oh, that was actually Justin's, he's the, or, uh, that was actually Strebber, so he died. That's why he has the goal as the last man up, but it is gonna be an easy cleanup, it is 8-2 to two for Luminosity, and the key to beating Paradox right now is shutting down this B hit, because there's no map control on the A side of the map, so when they, when Paradox does fall back into an A execute, they have so much to clear, they have so much space to clear, uh, there's so much opportunity for Luminosity players to get aggressive positioning, whether it be in the halls, whether it be peeking mid, or finding a corner to play in, uh, because they haven't had to push him back at all in this entire half and I just want to point out the fact that anger has an assist in every single round so far okay. that's that's pretty big I mean him and Lex like you said been shutting down that banana hallway so well and you can just see the damage that they're doing with albeit the nades or the molotovs the, nades, the, the incendiaries molly, yep. you know those opening pushes that are coming in and it's just so much damage being dealt and now Peter's On up, he's fully blinded right around the corner. He's going to be able to get the first shot, but he's going to get completely overwhelmed. And Flom from the cubby is going to be able to find one before he is dispatched. Pyth also chiming in with one as well. And Lex already down through mid in the big flank. And Justin's going to be your last man to get it done. A double for Pyth again. And we're looking at a 9-2 to two score line. So this is exactly what Luminosity needs to do. Like you said, they're so These rounds on CT, they should be in really good shape moving forward. Yeah, this is definitely a beautiful opening half, and, and once again, I, you know, you get the feeling that Paradox is going to shift back into what feels comfortable for them, sending three players over towards B early on. They're going to have that same stack, more than likely, that Lex and Anger have done every single every single round, basically, the sandbags in the corner. Actually, no, they just throw the Molotovs and they fall off. This is those advanced aggressive positioning I was talking about, and Silent's going to be in trouble if he tries to swing on this, so he's got to be very, very careful, but backing him up, there's a double porch stack as well. Oh, and that nade thrown from the backside of the hallway, or the backside of the B-bomb site, is going to find some good damage onto Justin as Peter takes down Silent, pushing aggressively in A-halls. So, again, it's it's like, look at, how, look at how timid Paradox are to take this banana control at this point because of the aggression that LG has been putting out the entire uh, half so far. And now that they go to a full passive, look at how much time is ticked off the clock. Now they've got free reign to throw that one-minute smoke at the top side of the banana hallway. Yeah, and a, and a beautiful sack as well, and they're, and they're split up into a two-on-two, two, at least. I mean, this is some good teamwork there, but actually, Peter and Flom just shut that attack down. So all left of these two players, they don't even have the bomb, so one player's going to have to fall back and get it all the way to T-spawn. Doesn't even know they could be pushed up. This is a disastrous round for Paradox, and a nice hold from Luminosity. And like you said, you brought it up with Anger's assist. They're doing so much damage early on at Banana before any kind of attack comes in from the Paradox side. They've just been so effective over there. Right, you are. And again, they didn't even see Pyth that was boosted up on top of Porch. And there you go. Lex is going to be able to find one last man standing. Strebber Anger finds him and takes him down. So again, they're just continuing to rack up their kill tallies right now. As you can see, LG with another five-man stand. 16-5 and five for Lex. 13-10-4 and four for Anger. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, well, you know, You know, we didn't really mention too much about Anger last season. He pretty much carried them through the first half of the season. He was sitting with 110 ADR halfway through, so he's been a beast for the squad. Yeah, he was basically the top rifler. And Just going to go for a fast push up through mid here, and look at this. They've got Peter on the left side of mid along with Flom in the cubby, and they're going to spray him down. Flom's going to find one. Peter finds a second one. Nice shot from him. And a third. Nice little flip. with a well-placed AK-47 bullet to the face. 11-2 to two now, and it's... Here's the issue as well with Paradox is they haven't... You look at their kills, all five, all five members with four kills. Yeah, just not enough fragging going on for that squad. They haven't been able to hurt the economy of, of Luminosity, that defense. And you can tell just by looking at the frags with Lex and Anger, both up at you know 16 and 13, and then obviously the 10 assists on Anger. They've been getting the brunt of the action. They've been handling it so well. So it's just basically been shutting down Paradox. They've never been at risk of, of being damaged economically uh, as Luminosity this entire half. So... Just a dominating performance so far in these first 13 rounds. You know, and that's one of the things that a lot of analysts talk about is being the money bonus for the for the Paradox side. I mean, they've lost five in a row here coming into the last two rounds, so 
They do have that money situation now. And, ooh, taking him up through the smoke. Going to find one. Boosted up on top. It's going to be Flom trying to find a third, and he does. So they don't check their corners properly, and that's going to be Flom going off here. Nice shot from Ellie. He's going to be able to find Pyth in the A bomb site. They're finally going to overwhelm Flom. So trying to even things up here are the terrorist side. And Peter's going to miss that shot, but look at this. Anger's already rotated over, but he's already down and out. And look at this. Lex right around the corner. Strepper's going to find him, so they've recovered nicely. And now we're down to a one versus Down to Peter with that AK-47 now in hand. He does drop the AWP, so we'll see whether or not they can make anything happen here. But Strepper trying to make a bid for it at the B bomb site, And this, this is the right play for him to make as Peter's still over here at A. Yeah, this round, the, the fact that they left the bomb back during that execute is actually a blessing. He had to jump out and get it and everything, so he's pretty much his decision was made up for him. Now Peter's got to book it over. And this, this is gives, a crucial round for Paradox. This could give him a little bit of breathing room. Yeah, and it gives Streber a whole lot of time to set up here in construction. And Peter, he's going to push through main. So, again, you know, a little ring around the rosy being played here by, by both parties. We'll see if Streber can peek out and actually take him down. And Peter's sticking it. And it gets diffused, so Peter wins the 1v1. A little salt in the wounds there for the Paradox side. They were around in the long run anyway, so unfortunate yeah, there, but pros don't fake. Heartbreaking. And actually, that, that was a round where you know, Paradox was lucky to get into that one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, LG actually outplayed them initially and then just kind of gave up a couple kills on an impatient retake. So they, they capitalized on that, but losing that one-on-one, -on -one, that's, uh, that's just unfortunate. That's something he probably wins 9 out of 10 times and just missed times the defuse. Right you are. So again, look at this. The same default setup here from Anger and Lex over at that banana hallway. They're going to molly him out. Maybe try to find something, but Pyth over here in the halls, he's going to be able to neutralize one that's silent down and out. So the early frags, again, going the way of Luminosity. I, I'm i sure that well, Rotoderp's hey, going to have a stat for us on opening frags here, but I'm pretty sure Luminosity has had the opening frag in almost every single round. Yeah, and it's it's not even that. It's just these frags are coming down in situations where there's no ability from Paradox to trade them out. You know, there's, you know it's okay to lose the first frag if you can trade it. to be get another one there's another chiming in from Pyth, and this is three individual kills no trades no spray downs or double kills for these defenders so it's just players on paradox's side just know that they're getting beat up at the moment and they're not playing together and again there you go completely on opposite sides of the map as lex is going to find streber and that leaves justin all the way over in the apartment hallways to try to make something happen and it ain't going to happen flom's going to be there to shut it down and again another five-man stand to close out the round 13 to 2 in favor of luminosity as we push forward in the second half and this is you know it, this kind of tells the tale we kind of expected luminosity to come out swinging in this one they do have this the the swede on their team pyth who's played very well throughout the first half he didn't get a whole lot of action over at the a bomb site with the exception of a handful of rounds but you know really Seeing Lex step up, he was kind of, you know, kind of stagnant last season. He had good matches and some bad matches, but his inconsistency over the course of the season. But it's good to see him in top form coming into this first matchup of the season. Yeah, he talked after ESL about how motivated he still was and how much, uh, you know, this, you know, a lot has been said about American teams. them in the off season to practice to get better you know both individually and whether good to see him uh take that dedication to heart here in the off season and keep in top shape and so far so good so we'll continue to see whether or not they can uh make things happen here as we uh wait for them to go live on three here for the second half and if Paradox can make a run, you talked about how good their CT side has been against some of the other teams that they're going to be competing against in this league. So it'll be very interesting to see if they can come out swinging, if they've got anything special for us. We saw Luminosity with a very aggressive pistol round uh, to start off the match, and you know it almost got him caught out. Peter dropped early, but then Pyth coming up huge with three big frags at the to, to culminate that round and Flom finishing it off. So we'll see whether or not the uh, Paradox side has anything up their sleeve here as we move forward. Uh, it's a tall task, and it's a lot to ask out of them. Not only because of the scoreline, but you know, just being their inexperience they have in the professional division, asking them to make this to have the composure to make this kind of a comeback is 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 you know is a lot. And they are going to go for a, a three man stack over towards B. They have a couple nades to work with, and they're going to push out. And they're going to do a very similar stack. They have one of the hay cart, one at the corner, and they're silent with one. Strabber jumps up, but there's luminosity just gets destroyed on that B rush. 
Yeah, and again, like I said, Paradox with a three-man stack over at that B-bomb site just doing work in the beginning of the pistol round. So great job from them. You can see them picking up the SMGs, those OP SMGs we've talked about in the past. And Silent looks like he wants to hang on to his pistol here, or is he going to go ahead and... There it is. There's the FAMAS. So we will see them go in for uh, for all here, and it's going to be Tech 9s across the board with the exception of Peter with the P250. And we'll see whether or not they can capitalize here on the anti-eco round, or is Luminosity going to be able to put those pistols to work and make it happen here? So it looks Looks like they are going to group up here in mid for an aggressive push towards the A bomb site, and there's a nade around the corner. It's going to find some good damage onto Anger and Lex. A little bit off of Python Flom as well, but here comes that push, and again, there it is. Ellie's going to open things up on Lex, and they're going to push all the way through. Python, nice, head, nice headshot onto Ellie, but he's coming right around the corner and silent with that FAMAS. He's going to get taken down as well, so the trade's two for two right now, but the HP values for the terrorists are dwindling and dwindling fast as Flom only on one HP, and Anger's going to get caught. Strebber sweeping two under the rug, and that's going to leave Flom with only one health point to try to capitalize on a 3v1 here. Yeah, not much really for him to do. And the key to that round was actually uh, mainline. He pushing into halls, just staying alive. His teammates fell, and he was able to get away in those halls. So staying alive, not letting anyone from Luminosity get comfortable, get that bomb down in any post plant positions, and it gave his teammates the confidence to be aggressive on that retake. So, you know, it looked a little bit scary there for a second, but a nice recovery by Paradox. And now, without a bomb plant, it's going to be a full save at a Luminosity. And you can see basically 1,600 to 1,900 across the board for the LG side, so they're not going to have an AWP moving forward into the first gun round unless they get a bomb plant here or a round victory, so it's going to be a very, very interesting buy to see in the next round. Maybe a couple of Galils as well, because you can see Anger and Lex very, very low on the money situation. They're going to go aggressive in the halls. Lex pushing all the way up to the end, making a whole lot of noise, so Silent going to go ahead and smoke that area off. Try to hold yeah, him back for a little while longer. Out early. Bates that smoke out very early, so now when it comes in, they, I mean, they have no nades to work with, so they're not going to execute, but that'll give them a lot of time to work with afterwards if they just want to try and barrel out. There'll be no smoke blocking their path. And the interesting thing is Ellie playing playing very alone in middle right now at the closet, so he he's very, you know, isolated by his own decision. Although, actually, now he gets out, so he has an avenue to fall back. Right you are, and here comes the aggression up through mid, and that's going to be all on Ellie, who goes down to uh, PTR. And there's another one. Lex is going to be able to find one, but they don't realize that there's a double pit stack, and they're able to neutralize another one. That bomb is going to move into the back of the bomb side and get planted, but Mainline staying alive again. Pyth finally able to take him down, and now it's going to be a three-on-two retake situation. No armor for the terrorist side, but that's okay. Pyth going to go ahead and find Justin, and now Strubber, your last man standing. So the eco round paying off here for LG. Nice pop flash out there from the backside of the big pit. All top around the corner on the default, but that's not where the bomb is planted, and all three terrorists are going to be able to survive the remainder of this round, and they're able to salvage two M4s out of it as well. So a great right. eco round from Luminosity. That's going to put them at 14. <laughs> yeah, very good eco round, and just too many players dropping. Uh, you know, especially on an eco round against no no armor. Even you know you can't you can't lose those battles that clean. And once Pyth got in pit and he picks up the Colt, that, that position is just so strong going against MP7s trying to retake on that long distance and. He just assassinates a player swinging out, so uh, just strong positioning from him. And now you kind of in the situation as paradox. It's it's what do you do here? Do you do you buy this early? I mean, you you have to get some rounds before you let them get to match point. So they actually are going to buy up. They're going to get some SMGs. Trevor's actually got a Colt Ellie with a Fama, so they're making do with what they can. All right, you are. So again, we're going to see whether or not they can capitalize on this. They're going to go ahead and drop that smoke out to the bottom side of Banana, and that's going to be. I'll try to cordon that area off. And here's some aggression here from the CT side. Lex maybe spotted mainline going in towards Cubby. But there's the crossfire, and Silent's going to be able to capitalize on that one. Lex down and out, and now they've got a gun battle going on there. Ellie's going to be able to find Peter, and now pushing up through mid is going to be Flom. He's got one to beat, and he is going to be able to beat him. And that's going to leave mainline and Silent. Silent actually falling back all the way to pit. Flashbangs around the corner. Pyth going to be peeking out. Molotov off into the pit. And now mainline with just that 5-7 and 63 points of health to work with, but it is a man advantage here for the CT side and still trying to peek out. Flom's going to come under fire. Pyth still around the corner. Anger finds mainline. Strebber goes into Pyth. Strebber with the second one, and there it is. Silent going to clean up Flom, and they managed to salvage the win out of that round. Right, and that was all Silent just staying alive behind that car. He wasn't connecting with very many shots, but he was being such a nuisance, you know, just popping up and down behind the truck, staying alive, allowing his teammates to come in to rotate and bring support. And eventually they just... Overwhelm the attack with superior numbers, so that's a fifth round for them, and yeah, the comeback hasn't really started yet because we have another buy round at a Luminosity, three AK-47s, one Tech-9 on a Pyth, and Lex with a P-250, so a pretty strong buy out of Luminosity here, all things considered. Yeah, absolutely, and, you know, oh, there's a flub nade. Pyth gonna eat that one. 
A little bit of team damage, but it's going to be okay as they move forward. There's another nade around the corner. He's going to chip a little bit more away from Pice. So he's already sitting at 66 to start the round off. There is a gap in that smoke, and Ellie's going to take the brunt of that one. Wow, down to 46. There's a nade around the corner. He's going to find some more damage. And now spamming on through. Silent's going to find one. And now they're going to go for the wrap. Pythe, he's going to get dropped by Ellie, and there's more to come. Lex and Peter are going to be right around the corner, and Lex goes down as well. Peter and Flom, your last two remaining for the terrorist side as they try to make their pressure up th towards mid. They're going to push through the smoke, and Flom's going to be able to spot one out. But again, Silent playing ring around the Rosie with him, and he's going to be able to find one. Can he get the second? No, but he does enough damage that Peter is going to fall to Ellie at the end of that round, and it's a four-man stand there. And Ellie with a big 3K there, 6-14 to 14 right now, but Paradox not down and out. It's going to be an eco round. Right, and Ellie actually, a couple rounds ago on the eco, he fell very, very early to those P250s on the rap side, and that round, he holds his ground, grabs three to his name by the end of it, so he did a great job holding off that rap attack. And Luminosity just seemed like they want to bully their way into map control in, in different different areas of the map and just, you know, win based off their trades and just kind of whittle down the defense, and hasn't worked out for him that round, so another eco, and if Paradox can hold strong on this one and not, not lose it, I mean, they, they have to learn how to win these ecos, so they need to stay alive here. They want to keep this comeback alive. Absolutely. And again, Silent burning a smoke grenade early in the round and maybe heard a footstep from Flom as he got his way up and towards the apartments. But again, you know, we talked about the importance of those smokes trying to hold off those choke points. There's an eight over the top. Oh, wow. Anger down to 18. So starting off relatively strong here on the Paradox side. And here comes that eco round wrap onto the uh, moto side. Ellie's going to get himself out of dodge and Strebber already on the rotation. Peeking out's going to be able to find one. Spotting out a second one. Not going to find him just yet. And now Flom's going to go ahead and push on through that Molotov, but they really don't know where they want to go with the bomb right now. It's going to fall back down to the bottom side of mid. But look at this. Ellie actually going to get a little bit aggressive here in middle and might be able to catch out Anger in just a second. And he does. Nice shot from him. And the information gathering is huge. That's going to that's gonna tell them, you know, mid's clear, bracket's clear. They fell off of it. And now it's very obviously either a Hulls or, or, or a B push. So they have two players over towards this B bomb site. Strabber just holding the corner, and he spots one there. Now they rush in. Peter gets a couple nice shots, though, so Justin's got to come up huge. He's got to at least survive. He does get dinged through the box after taking one out, and they're going to push him aggressively, and they do get it, so this should be a bomb plan for Luminosity. A nice take and a three on two. That defense didn't go anywhere how they expected it to. Yeah, not as strong as we saw in the first half from the LG side, but nevertheless, they do clean it up. But that bomb plan is going to put that money in the bank for Luminosity, so maybe we'll see Peter picking up the AWP here. He's sitting on 5,400, so it's definitely a possibility, the AWP and some, head armor, or some body armor to boot. The, uh, the AWP on this map can be, it's one of the more difficult maps as a terrorist to, uh, to get it going, to get it effective. And uh, to be honest with you, I'd be, I'd be surprised if Peter picked up that AWP here on the terrorist side. Well, he opts for the AK this round. It's going to be AKs across the board. Unanimous decision here from the LG side. But as of right now, you know, they've only gotten one round of their name. He came in the third on the back of an eco round victory. And quickly stifled again. That smoke to the bottom of Banana is going to hold off any kind of aggression. And look at this. The CT's three-man stack over the top side of B. But it's going to be a quick push coming out from the LG side. They go ahead and push on through that Molotov at the top side of middle. And that's going to leave Silent in a very awkward position. Lex is going to be able to neutralize him. And that's going to be Ellie going down as well. So that Smart. eight bomb site already opened up. Smart play from Luminosity. The perfect response. They hear the triple push. They hear the nades. They see the smoke. And they barrel up mid where they know there's only two players to defend. And actually, a little bit of a mistake on the defensive side. If you're going to do that triple push, those two players today have got to be playing together. You need to be able to mow down two to three of that if they choose to do that fast aggression up mid because of your triple push. Otherwise, your defense is just so thin. And this is the result of it. You see the remaining three Paradox players are forced to save their guns. No chance at a retake. So it's going to put Luminosity on a map, match point, map and match point on such a crucial call and a nicely done uh, nicely done by Peter there. Yeah, absolutely. And again, you saw, you know, we talked about setting up for trades and how um, Paradox struggled with that in the first half on their terrorist side. And you saw Lex, and I believe it was also Anger. You know, they've kind of had that buddy system going the entire time. You know, they played at the B-bomb site the entire first half together. They've been taking the apartments together as well. And, you know, Lex going aggressive up off of the hay cart into the apartment hallway. And they were able to put that crossfire. Even though that smoke was there, Anger, just his presence there was enough to keep Silent guessing onto which angle to choose. And he ended up choosing the wrong one. Lex was able to capitalize on that um, just because of the distraction that was made by having two players there so again showing that buddy system and how it's working out really really well for them so far is LG as they're sitting on map point and again you can see Lex and Anger that buddy system again over there in the apartment hallways yeah players who really like working together and this is actually they slowed things down this is more of a default 
And Lex is going to get aggressive, although a nade lands right on his feet. He gets the kill anyway, so Lex keep me up. His stellar play. Mainline's boosted, though. Trades him off. He's got one coming up mid. That's Peter. He sprays him down. Anger's going to peek him up. Mainline's going to get him falling, so a nice three kill from Mainline there. Holds the defense strong. Absolutely. So down to a two versus four, and this is exactly what uh, Paradox needs to have happen right now. They need to be able to survive this round with as many guns in hand as they can because that economy is still very broken on their side. So if they're able to salvage this in a two versus four, then that's going to bode very, very, very well as they move forward and try to stave off this uh, this loss. Yep, and Strebber now and Justin with this crossfire, so no, uh, there's actually one smoke on Pyth to work with, and it does look, there it is, it's going to drop in a CT spawn, so Strebber's blocked off, he's going to spam through, not connecting, the bomb's going to get planted, it's actually not blocking off CT spawn, smart play, blocks off the planter, eliminates the member from the site, but now both players, neither of them are in the bomb site, so they know they're both towards banana, but all three members for Paradox are coming from CT spawn. And they do have a couple of nades to work with here. Some flashbangs as well. They're going to drop them down in the pool there and try to push on up. And they've actually smoked things up. But Pyth is going to be able to find one. Flob doubles up. And that's going to be the match. 16 to that 7. A, that was a 2 on 4. What a win by those two. Smart plays from uh, from Flom and Pyth there. Very good job. And...